Greetings everyone, this is James P. Madonna of Mega Life 21 and Progressive Discussions. And before I go on to do my next video talk show, I am stopping by from my immediate area off Route 17 South in Hasbro Heights, New Jersey, the one and only, the famous Bendix Diner, as seen on the Jerry Seinfeld Netflix series, Comedians in Cars Getting Coffee. That's right. It is in my close area, and, and it, I love it here. Outstanding food, outstanding coffee, and I will go in soon before I go on to do my next show. Okay. James P. Madonna of Mega Life 21 and Progressive Discussions here. And uh, aside from the famous Bendix Diner in Hasbro Heights, New Jersey, Route 17 South, right behind the famous Teterboro Airport where everyone with private jets lands who wish to visit New York City. I, we are right next door, directly next door to the famous Bananas Comedy Club in the Holiday Inn on Route 17 South in Hasbro Heights, New Jersey. And there it is. The famous Bananas Comedy Club with a very highly rated Gabriel's Restaurant. Crazy Ray. And she lies to us and says, no way, right? Well, she does it first, and when I do it again, she goes, eh, eh. The nervous so, laugh, yeah. So she she denies it, then doesn't argue. She's, she's like the person who sends me a text without identifying themselves. She's a whack job. Yeah, hi. Hi, how are you? This is, uh, who are you? Like I'm well, you should have seen the size of the spider in my uh, bathroom when I came out of the shower. In the Holiday Inn? How the hell did it get in? Nobody knows. It was just big around. You know why? No. If the females are getting ready for hibernation. I said, my God, I put a plastic cup over it. And then after I finished everything, I went around tried to, so I scooped along the thing. I missed into the shower with still some water. So it got a little wet and curled up in the ball, and I got this with the other cup on top, and I walked it outside. Yeah, I don't kill spiders. I don't kill most anything, but the ants suck. Well, they're they're predatory. They're uh, they're good. They're beneficial, but unless no, they're but they don't ever come. No, my point is they never come around with just one. I know. Unless they're venomous. That's know. all the whole thing. So I put um around Oct October this female, the same female spider, builds a humongous web in front of my door. Are you still waiting? You still waiting? For what? Uh, chicken nuggets. That's it? It's been 15, 20 minutes. Yeah. Did you tell them? He said he would have it in like a couple minutes. A couple minutes? Oh, come yeah, on. He, he that's, a, be, that's insane. He must be a, a Donald Trump uh, fan. Oh, that's he, crazy. You know, he'd like you. Come on. Shooter than when I was up there. Or truth is not true, Rudy Giuliani. That's, Talk, not, that's just not How true. long does it take to deep fry chicken nuggets? Come on. There's no excuse for like this. a couple it's minutes. Really, uh... It only takes a couple minutes to deep fry it. And then they got a lot of people back there doing the deep frying, right? Well, where's the management saying, what is going on here? That's why I decided not to wait for a small coffee. You know what? Penny wise and pound foolish, like my grandfather used to say, with these uh, business owners today. Well, I'll tell you, today gets me harder than those 105 days. No, I'm happy autumn is around the corner. Well, when? Me. We're it's mid mid September. You know, normally August is a very That's dry. What everybody said this. Do you hear what I said? They said, yeah, but they said Billy, it's mid September. Listen, What's going on here? Nor normally in August, the the grass is all burnt. It's a dry, very dry month. Just something not, all changed. Not anymore. It's 
all changing. And you you know the climate change deniers are paid off by the oil companies? Oh, I guess. I don't care. But this just, this weather is crap. Yeah. It's horrible. Yeah, but what, anyway, what I was saying is it's the same female spider builds a huge web in front of my house. And then I, I, t I tear it down with a broom. It rebuilds it the next day. Then I found out what, what happens. Spiders recycle their webbing. They actually reuse their webbing material. Wow. I, I learned that like last year. Wow. This thing was big. Yeah. Boy, well, that, that, I almost went down twice there. Large oh, abdomen. This weather yeah. is kicking me bad. It could be electrolyte depletion. Well, I am dehydrated. Pedialyte, um, well, Walmart's, Walmart's got a good one. Walmart Walgreens. doesn't have much of anything. Walmart. Well, they have their brand of uh, get, electrolytes. I can't get over the cap tube socks. They have nothing in jackets, hardly anything in shirts. You said that the Aldi's is being renovated over here, right? Down down Route 17? Yeah, they're still open, I think. Okay. They're still open, but uh, I think they're going to close. Yeah. I met one of the iron workers. He owns his iron worker company. If you, nice, what a nice guy. If you get if you get shopping bags where they put the um, yeah, I know. the plastic in the paper, yeah. save them for all these. Yeah. Because I, there's no way I'm paying for bags. I, me, I got bags in the back seat of my car. You know, uh, Somebody I, said on CNN, they made a good point. I forget the guy. He said, he goes, well, this is the death knell for Donald Trump. Oh yeah. Oh, with Manafort. So this is just not good. Do you know a Trump supporter was saying that uh, Manafort is? They're all being Donald Trump's being framed. Manafort's being framed. Who said that? A Donald Trump supporter. Well, there you go. <laughs> so you you cannot convince people once they have a mindset, Billy. Who's it come? Who does that come back to? People not getting it. Who does that come back to? Satan. My father. Oh, what well, your dad said. You can't get through to people. You could have all the evidence in the world. No, no, but isn't that right? Everything we're saying comes back to dad. No, but we, ha you but there are details. There are details around oh, what I your know, father. I've heard them all. But dad's was right. You well, I'm on a. You can't yeah. get through to people. You try no. to tell them, they still won't believe it. I tell them about the health benefits of smoking. No, I don't believe it. Oh no, that's that's a that's a bunch of hogwash. No, that's not. propaganda. No, it's not. That's drug. That's. No, it's not. You think that the hospitals love when people get lung cancer? That's money. You think Duke that's University profit? Is lying about the health benefits. I think. Smoking? I think that the the, uh, the no. dean is on on the take. No, he's on the take. Why he's would a, they talk about the health benefits? Because people are corrupt. Why would they talk about the health benefits? I'm sorry. I, I don't have faith in humanity like you do. No, but you think everything is co conspiracy, and it's not. Why would they lie about the benefits? They get nothing out of the benefits. Well, maybe the point maybe here? the problem with cigarettes is not so much the, the tobacco plant, but the additives, the chemicals they put You're in. Missing it. the point. How could They're smoking? They're talking about the benefits. So tars, tars, not the nicotine. Tars go into your lungs, actually does good. Certain things prevents Parkinson's disease. Number two, their final words were: smokers who exercise regularly far outlive non-smokers. Who exercise regularly, and we don't know why. But you see, you have selective beliefs. You want to believe the bad. Well, they did say that about marijuana back in the but day, too. But you want to believe the bad. So you have selective beliefs, which um, I've always complained um, about people about. Carlton Fredericks, God rest his soul, yeah. proved that people that eat a lot of eggs for breakfast outlive non egg well, eaters by a substantial margin. Who did the egg study, Jim? You mean the study well, on the eggs? They said eggs were bad for you. Who did it? Oh, the margarine, the companies that made margarine and uh, the food companies, U.S. food companies. Well, no, it was the cereal companies. But they also wanted, uh, and they did the study with powdered eggs. You know, I've had powdered eggs in the Navy. They're not bad. I like them. They're all good. Everybody made fun of them, but... Oh, it's edible. They're good. It's powdered. You see what people have selected for leaves. Well, stop. you're just removing the water, the moisture from the egg. I you want to believe only what you want to believe. What is bad, see what did I tell you? What is good, I want to believe that. I even like powdered milk. And people just don't listen. They don't get it. You know, people say, "Oh, you drink powder. You'll drink powder." Well, I, don't like, I don't like milk, period. Except for oh, you're not. You're not a dairy fanatic. Yeah, oh, I no, love dairy. No, I like cheese. I you like yogurt. Eggs. You love yogurt. I just not crazy about milk unless it's in something. Sour cream on. A, I love sour cream on, a, on an enchilada. Sour cream. I love. Uh, 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 
buttermilk cream cheese um, well cheese in uh, general the other thing with curds what's that called cottage cheese cottage cheese I love everything I, I'm not crazy about milk I um, when I go to the Mexican place and I get those enchiladas and no, chicken enchilada um, whatever style I get them I love extra sour cream I love that stuff Let's go to see right back. What if they, um, mother, what if they, oh, they got them? What if they drafted oh, women into dairies and milked them uh, for a fee? Okay, I'll be right back. Now, even now, as we stepped out, there's still people waiting. You think I'm going to stand online all afternoon for a small coffee? They're out of their minds. It's not well run. It is really bad. And who knows how well they train these new people. You know what? She has no integrity. I don't know what to believe when she opens her mouth. Because she lies. Yeah, but just think of how bad she is. She lies all the time. That's the bad part. Oh, he's, he's just as bad as her? There's Route 17 South, the Holiday Inn, and the famous Bananas Comedy Club. Here we go. Just we're just on break right now. Too bad there's no planes coming in Teterboro Airport right now. Big whoop! I thought you were getting a coffee. Uh, at, they're going at a snail's pace. Okay. I honestly don't have the patience for the waiting. Valley Home Care, the home care that my father had. Do they come any better? Benefits of smoking. Is that a crime? Well, look at the Native Americans. They smoked tobacco for, for well, probably thousands of years. It's different, though. They didn't have additives, and they smoked a lot of peyote, too. So. Yeah. So. Oh, speaking of peyote. Uh, this, cleaning that off? The psychedelic oh, mushrooms. Good. Okay, want to move over? You know, that that regrows brain cells? The psychedelic mushrooms? You want to move over? Yeah. Peyote? <laughs> well, like, where are wait till it dries. Yeah, you know what? Wait. Uh, I mean, speak of peyote. Speaking of peyote, dry. Well, you know, you probably dry with one napkin. Uh, thank you, Bill. I think, I think, I think there's a, it's a miracle. There's no line. I think I can get my coffee now. Well, what it say? Super hot. I like scalding hot coffee. What do you think? I'm like that. The old lady who sued McDonald's. She says her, he says her, her, the first layer of her skin peeled off. I don't think so. And as she had it between her legs on the drive-thru, yes. Uh, every, every time a private jet lands, I don't see it until it actually gets to the runway. Oh, that's because of the position of it. Oh yeah, that's a wonderful thing about the peyote, the psychedelic mushrooms growing brain cells. Years ago, that lady who sued the McDonald's in the morning for spilling hot coffee on her leg. Was that intentional what she did? Well, I saw her. She faked, she faked the whole thing? There you go. I saw her, her photo and she looked like yeah. the kind of old lady that will call the cops on, yeah, on her neighbors. 
Huh? I I, said Duke. Oh, I wasn't even looking up Duke because I I find it ludicrous. I was I was texting. So like the belief, it's like huh? texting my sister. Oh, you asked me about Duke and you were punching buttons. Oh no, no, I wasn't even. Uh, ac no, ac no, now the peyote I'm interested in. Well, let's see if you have selected. And marijuana. Let's see if you have selected. Look, the line is back again. Oh Jesus! Does my friend Jimmy Madonna have selected the leads? Oh God, help me! <laughs> I always know who you did. Well, I am opinionated. You no, know, you believe in conspiracy for everybody. Well, because I, I, Jimmy Madonna puts it, my friend Jimmy, is everything a conspiracy? No, some things are proven fact. Some things. Yeah, but you, have, you still don't believe them. You have, I told you about Duke. You still don't believe yeah. you have so like Well, believe. secret societies are real. The oligarchs. Some are. Some are. Are all secret societies real? Oh. Are some secret societies real? Okay. That's what I told you. Not all. I said some, and there you go. It's like saying all women are gold diggers. No, you can't say all. And then women. again, but they always ask a guy, "What do you do?" Well, that's common. You know, like, what you do you do somebody, for a living? You can only say so much. You say, what, you do? what if somebody's retired and they do they do absolutely nothing? Just say, I'm retired and, and I'm just enjoying life right now. And I play chess all day. Yeah. Say that. The yeah. truth. The truth is not going to hurt. Yeah. Well, you tell the truth when people ask you. I do. And I'll get it. Say, well, it's truth. And I tell them. You know, you don't do what the people did at the Players Club, have phony business cards made up. Yeah, I did. My friend's girlfriend gave them to me for fun. <laughs> you know, it's one of them said, yes, I am a movie star. <laughs> the other one said, my card. So you give, let me give you my card. And they look at it, it says, my card. So she gave, uh, you know, Kathy gave them to me as a goof. Yeah. You know what, you know, God, I don't, you know, I don't know if he's deceased. What do you mean, fake cards to to lie. No, I never did that. But these were just meant to be funny. They're jokes. Yeah. yeah. Well, obviously. What I, you know what Tiny used to do? I, I, God rest his soul. If he is. No, he's not. He's not there. But what he used to do is. He used to have the uh, playing cards with pornographic photos on it, and he used to tell the girl, "You like card tricks?" And she says, "Yeah, kind of." Well, pick a card, any card, and then he he opened up the deck, and then she would pick any card, and it would be a pornographic oh, that's not as an opening line. Yeah, that's not cool. It's funny though. It's not even funny. It's not cool. I think today you would get in trouble for that, it's right? It's not cool. You know? That's like if instead of shaking. You know, the bottom line is, why don't I get guys coming up to me saying, "Sir, listen, I'm sorry, I'm not gay, but we just want to tell you." You're not like these other jerks. You're smooth. You're not like these. But I even, but even though you were smooth, and they said, "Can I shake your hand?" I said, sure. Okay, that's well and good. Even though you were super smooth and cool, you still got laid. That's the important thing. You know, what's that got to do with? These? Because, because that's one of the greatest things in life is getting laid. It gets boring. Like good food. It gets. You boring. like a good steak. It gets boring. Oh, you mean if you have it too it, much? Yeah, it gets boring. Yeah, like waiting for my coffee. <laughs> it gets boring. It's that simple. It's cut and dry. That's why somebody who works at Dairy Queen said, uh, why is everybody getting excited over ice cream sundaes and malted milkshakes? I work here every almost every day. Big deal. It's ice cream. So why do they consider it seasonal when ice cream is sold all year round? I love ice cream in the winter. Well, why is it seasonal? Like the what, shepherd's pie. What does that have to do with it? Yeah. People just don't get, well, again, you can't get yeah. well, When I was working with seafood, people would run up and go, oh my God, sea scallops, ooh, 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 ooh. I go, ma'am, I see these things almost every day. You can't get through to seafood. You know, it's like, uh, but before I worked with seafood, it was a big deal. I guess Hugh Hefner got bored too after a while when you he was alive. You just can't get through to people, can you? Quack, quack. Well, look at that old fashioned broom. Oh my God. You know, that this franchise owner, he's got to be the biggest skin flint that God ever, Would that was ever conceived. Night, What'd you have? Huh? How was it? Chicken wraps. Chicken wraps. You mean it did rap music? It went a bit into it, it went... <laughs>
You know, all these cells too, speaking of wraps, spinach, they, they sell spinach wraps. They're nice. Oh, they're good, the big leaves, yeah. They're good. Yeah, so but the, the but, but important thing is they're still, they still have the lobster roll. Yeah, I still have that. Commodore Jeff Zambello from Boston. Why don't they make a lobster? Nobody makes a nice big lobster wrap. That's not a bad idea. That's a good yeah, idea. It's bigger than or a hot dog. It's really a burrito when you think about yeah, it. But it's, I mean, my point is it's bigger. It's going to cost a lot more. But still offer it. But you see how they market it as a wrap when in reality it's just a form of burrito? Oh, well, yeah, but it's wrap. That's why. Oh, that's why. So, you know, but it, you can do anything with it. Actually, it tastes better than a regular sandwich with two slices well, of bread. What is it? It's Mexican bread. It's what it really is. It's yeah. a different form of bread. That's right. Beep, beep, Jewish beep. bread is great. Challah bread. Is you, you ever have challah French toast at a diner? No, but it's, well, but it's great. Only if they soak it in egg thoroughly. You have to to make anything for French toast. Yeah, like when I used to make it, I would let it soak with yeah, cinnamon, sure. cinnamon, a little milk, and egg. Well, you, well, my mom used to sprinkle it on afterwards. Yeah. It was good, but. Well, you can't go wrong with cinnamon, and you know, way before or after. You know, cinnamon is good for blood sugar disorders, sure. diabetics. Sure. I bet it's almost time to leave. I'm not even going to bother getting a coffee. Uh, well, that's right. Uh, Karen's going on break soon. All right, I'll get a coffee. What the heck? I'm driving away. I don't understand why the sky is so clear, like it's dry, but it's really humid. I, I never I don't get that. I don't think it matters. I don't know, the clouds make it less or more humid. Isn't it great to roll out of a big bed, a uh, normal sized bed, without getting off the floor? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, it is. Yeah. But I, you don't care. You know? Yeah, but you could buy a cot. You got money now. Uh, Even a camping car. It's a cup. Boy, I'm shot. Boy, you, you wait long enough, you're going home in less than an hour. That's because it's... You said five years old. Oh. Maybe your girlfriend will come in. Oh, she now I doubt it. She'll drive you crazy. <laughs> well, the problem with Eileen is almost everything she says is a complete lie. So you can't you can't believe anything she tells. Liar. Lies about. Oh, yeah. That's why I uh, I say maniacal madness you when know, she's here. She said the other day she couldn't hear because the TV was too loud, but she complains about not being able to hear the wax in her ears. And she had that taken. But she said, and she said she went to my doctor and had that taken care of. Maybe that's a lie. Well, she if what is it? Is your doctor? Doctor Rigolos? No, he's an internist. Rigolosi. Our friend here at McDonald's, Eileen. She told us she went to Jimmy's doctor, did Dr. Who? Rigolosi. Dr. Rigolosi to have the wax in her ears cleaned out. Is that true? She, she lied to us again? She belongs in a padded room, Billy. Honest to God. If she's, if she's lying as much, she should be, she should be, what's that, what's that insane asylum, a Greystone or something? I don't know if that's still open or not. I mean, to lie, what, the insane asylum in New Jersey, Greystone it was called. Is that still open? I didn't think so. That was an infamous place. So was Willowbrook. Now Greystone's closed. Willowbrook was shut down in seven. Yeah. Now, now one flew over to Cuckoo's Nest with Jack Nicholas. That was based on a on a real hardcore insane asylum, right? 
I don't know. Probably. I don't know the, uh, the facts behind it, but probably. Yeah. But it wasn't that bad in the movie. So it's pretty sugar coated. Let's be honest. What'd you guess? Quarter pound with um, quarter pound cheese. Huh? Man, they, there's some great westerns on Netflix. I'm so glad I I saw that Silverado for the first time. What a great movie that was. And the music, like you said. What, Karen? Don't nag me. Wilbur. You get that, Karen? Don't nag me. Horse racing, I said, don't nag me. You don't, you don't get that, do you? A horse, old horse, is an old nag? Karen, please. My God. One time I fed, one time I was feeding a horse like fruit, apples. They liked it. They enjoyed it. They it's, like everything. They love sugar, sugar cubes. They love carrots. But they're, I, I was amazed at how soft their their hair was, and you know they were very pretty animals. They're beautiful animals. Yeah. And 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 they they bond with you. They're I was not, going to buy that hair in Maine. That shampoo. I used that one time. Yeah. And I, it's when, yeah, I the, when I got to the checkout, I figured where it was in Ridgeway stopping up. They said, No, Billy, don't get that, don't get that. Oh, what happened? I said, Why not? They said, The reason a horse is so shy, it's full of wax. Oh, shit, they really? Said, that's filled with wax. Don't, wax, don't wax get, don't get it. They said, Billy, don't get it. That's why the, the horse's coat lays down nice and it feels so. They said, Yeah, not something they do. They said, Billy, don't get it. Yep. Yeah, that's weird. They said, Billy, don't get it. Don't get it. So I've never, never bought, I never bought it then. I, I just learned something again, new, that I never knew before. Because you learn something every day. The, base, the baseball playoffs should be coming up soon, right? That shampoo I almost tried years ago. That's for horses, but people are using it. It's called hair and mane. Hair and mane. They told me it has to too much, far too much wax in there. Is that true? It's probably like paraben. They call it paraffin. I'm sorry, paraffin. Paraffin is like candle wax. Yeah, beeswax, or like a beeswax, or candle wax. Yeah. Well, yes. Yes, I'm now. I was talking to Karen about paraffin. Boy, that guy got killed by the shark up in Cape Cod. First time in over 80 years. Did they say if it was a bull shark or a great white or? 80, over 80 years. They killed this kid. Damn. Bull sharks are, are really bad. Well, don't, don't laugh at tiger sharks. But you know what? A bull shark is the only shark that can. go in fresh water. In fresh water. Yeah. Survive in fresh water. But they, they said, yeah, he was. It, was, it wasn't deep water. He was probably up to his waist. I know great whites are notorious for, for, for swimming the coastline in, uh, in more shallow. They said on the news once, anybody who's been in the ocean at one time or another has probably had a shark swim by them within a couple of feet and hasn't realized it. You can't see them sometimes. Think about that, how close you may have been. Unless you're you're in the tropics where it's crystal yeah. clear. But they said everybody, almost everybody's had one go right by them. I seen a hammerhead shark in um, in Florida Keys. A lemon, they have something called lemon sharks. Lemon sharks are are reach. They're not aggressive, but they're they're still shark sharks. Shark attacks are up. They keep getting higher. They don't know what's going on. They are absolutely baffled right now. They said. That that is absolutely true. A nurse shark is harmless, but you you don't put your hand by their mouth. So I don't think any shark is harmless. Yeah. I think any shark can hurt you. They all have teeth. Now, some tourists in... Um, you ever hear of a gum shark? I mean, <laughs> no, some so. tourists in um, Cozumel, like Cancun, thought that because the, the nurse shark was not dangerous, that they can put their hand by its mouth, and the, and the, idiot, got, the idiot got bitten. Well, also they say, you know, stingrays, but it kills Steve Irwin. Right in the heart. When you're, when you're scuba diving, no, when you're snorkeling, you never wear jewelry of any kind. Because barracudas, 
They see the shininess, they think it's bait fish. No, they're just mean. No. Barracuda, oh God, you ever see the teeth on a barracuda? They're just mean. Holy crap. I, know, I, I, met a, I met a deep sea diver, the one that wears a big metal helmet. He goes down to the oil company. Oh, okay. I said, oh Christ, shit, you gotta deal with the sharks. He said, no, the sharks don't bother you. The barracudas come for you. He goes, they're a mean son of a bitch. Wow. He said, I never forgot that. He said, they are. They just come at you for no reason. He said, sharks don't bother me. They're lightning fast. But he said, the, uh, the, uh, uh, the barracudas, yeah. they just come and bite. You should see the long teeth on them, too. Now, moray eels can take your finger or, or, or hand off if, if you... Oh, yeah, they can slice right through the yeah. arm. I saw a video of an octopus that actually squeezed itself into a beer bottle and then came back out again. I was amazed. They said the most one of the most flexible creatures known to man. I leaned to that one out of the party. <laughs> well, I'm sure. Did you ever hear that, Karen? <laughs> I'm sure. Squeezed herself into a bottle and squirted back out again. Well, that's how she entertains Ray. Yeah. Yeah. Let's oh, see. Ray, I love you so much. What am I gonna have for dinner? Let me see now. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Well, it can't be shepherd's mm -hmm. pie because it's out of season. At all these, I got some eight ounce. They have shepherd's pie at Stop and Shop. It's probably the same identical shepherd's pie. It's not that big. It's like about this big. Oh no, that's a different company. Yeah, it's not that big. Yeah, I'm used to the big shepherd's yeah. pie. Like a blackjack mulligans in Garfield, the sports bar. When I ordered shepherd's pie, man, was that a big ass shepherd's pie, yeah. and it was loaded with beef. I, I love shepherd's pie. I mean, it, it, technically, it was peasant food. So, so it was lobster. So, it was prison food. Oh, oh yeah. The the British colonists they looked down on the lobster. Well, the inmates made them sign a contract saying we only feed this lobster twice a week because they couldn't stand it. They thought it was like a like, like a cockroach. It was. Like Karen, I hope she comes up for air. Boy, she's sucking down that burger. That's because she hasn't had a bite to eat probably in a while. You know, Karen, that's how I get Eileen to shut up. I buy her a burger or something and she just sits there and like she did with Jerry that day. I, I wouldn't mind if Eileen was 100% pure facts, you know, and she actually said intelligent things, but no, it's not the case. She sat here with Jerry one day and said, he or I said, are you hungry? She said, no. And he said, would you like a fry? She ate it all of his fries. I said, what are you doing? He said, you ate all of his fries, Eileen. I said, who's Jerry? He said, one of the pilots that comes in here. You mean to tell me she has no surplus cash to buy anything here? None? Yes, she does. She got to the You know how many times I told that idiot to go to, 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 to Bergen County Board of Social Services? And she yeses me to death. Oh, yeah, yeah, James, it's a good idea. I don't even think she's been there. She hasn't. She says, what good is it going to do? They're going to turn me down. I says, well, how do you know, Eileen? Yes, they are. That's common procedure. The first time you always get rejected. That's common procedure. Even Social Security Disability they, does that. It's expected. It's a numbers game. And then the next time you're okay. That's all it is. It's a numbers game. I told her that too. I said expect to be rejected. They do that. Because, uh, because most people won't appeal anything. I know. Boy, I tell you. Robert Mueller's investigation is yeah. really going to get heavy duty now. Well, I told you, he's on the way out. With Paul Man Manafort. I'm going to stay here until I get my stuff? No, I'll go up there. Oh, Bye. God. <laughs> oh, my God. Because they both have light hair. Maybe that's why. <laughs> I'll get around to go... If I go to Friendly's, I'll probably go to the one in Elmwood Park on Route 46. Route 46 East. There's one in Elmwood Park, yeah, by the M, by the, uh, um, what the hell is that called? The Parkway Diner? And the Boulevard. Yeah, I'm gonna go. Because my friend from Boston has been telling me about lobster rolls so much, I, he's got me in a mood. Okay, J This has been a Mega Life 21 production.